these should be dry now. So we can put them together. Now the best thing is to take this tape off as quick as you can so the glue doesn't stick to the veneers. And oh, it's starting to rip now. But if you can get it off in one go, it's a lot better. See how it's sort of ripping there? If you leave it on for 24 hours, it's oh, sometimes it can be a real pain to get off. As that bit is. Yeah, that's one lot. <clears throat> These two short ones will join together and then cut it in half and we'll get what we need for the rest of these. But I'll take the tape off whilst I'm doing it. And just do the same with what you've already done and join these together. Now we've got a big sheet. Same thing, where you've done the joins. Run a bead of glue down. Board on top as before. And once again, they should be dry. That sheet put together. And this large sheet, and if you see there, I got a catch, but that's okay because we'll cut that out. All right, um, what we'll do first, before I start cutting that up, we'll cut this one in half. And glue it together. And that will then give us the extra ones that we need. So pretty close to being half. And we've got to take one of these off, one of the white ones off, just like that. Now we'll glue this onto here. That'll give us the extra squares that we need. Just leave this one to set while we go about cutting the other ones up to size. Now I've got to get a straight edge down one of these edges. And I think we'll pick this edge here. To do that, square and I know the edge of this mat is square so I'll square that up to the edge of that mat and slide this under so I want to leave as much there as I can so just make sure that all these strips at least a little bit of each strip is poking through and then we just clean this up. And again, don't force it. And I'm left-handed, so I'm going from this side. I'm sorry if you can't see it. Now that's gonna be our edge that we're working with. And the board I used originally to trim this 
is not big enough. I've got overhang hanging each side. So I've just quickly knocked up a makeshift one, which is just a piece of MDF with a coating on it. Off cut from a cabinet shop. Put the bigger board on top. Slide that up against the edge like that. Get the two squares that we originally cut the strips in. Place them in the right orientation. I'm laying it down with the pencil marks upwards. That way I'll get a nicer cut on the other side. Make sure it's hard up against there and then just cut away. The trick with this is not to rush it. It's an idea too, if you can number them, which I should do, so I'll do that. On the front side, I'll just number one, two, three, four. That way when you put them together, the grain is actually going to be uniformed. Which I should have done to start with, so I apologise. Six. And that's going to be too short. You can save that bit for another job later on. And then I'll go over, get the other bits that we just clamped up. It should be dry. And we can cut the last so we'll have all eight pieces put together. But just with even what we've done. You can see how the chessboard is going to start to take shape. Mm -hmm. 